Hello everyone and welcome to your Pick a Card Tarot reading. Today we will be looking at what messages Archangel Metatron has for you. So there are three opals here. This is going to be pile number one, this is going to be pile number two, and this is going to be pile number three. Timestamps are in the description box below, so go ahead to your timestamp and I will see you there. Hello group number one, those of you who chose the first opal here, let's go ahead and take a look at what messages Archangel Metatron has for you. I'm going to start by getting three cards out. What do we have for group number one? Look at that, and we got three that flew out there. So first out is... Well, we got a master number here. We have Archangel Sandalphon coming through along with Archangel Metatron. They do work together. Next out, we have priorities, building blocks for life. And the final one here we have is Mother Earth, grounding and support. Okay. With Archangel Sandalphon here, what this card talks about is not being so focused on the end result of your goals and remembering to enjoy the journey along the way. Now, we're seeing that play out here in these two cards as well, because here we're seeing priorities, the building blocks for life, and then we also have Mother Earth grounding and support. So with this priorities, the building blocks of life, what that's talking about is taking things one step at a time, taking a look at what you can release and let go of so that you can focus on what's important. Also, this card here, Metatron reminds us that spirit is also found in everyday activities. We don't have to constantly be looking for spiritual enlightenment or doing spiritual things in order to find spirit. Spirit is all around us in all things at all times. He's reminding you here to come back to earth a little bit, get grounded. The cube here in this image, I don't know if, let me hold it up so that you can see it. This cube here also signifying taking things one step at a time, one block at a time. Things aren't built in a day. It has to be taken step by step. And this is a reminder of just grounding and focusing and coming back to a space where you're doing things one step at a time and not putting too much pressure on yourself here so that you can enjoy the journey because because the journey is just as important as the destination. So let's get some tarot here and see what additional messages Archangel Metatron has for you. So we have the Emperor. Feeling these under here as well. The Ace of Wands, the Sun, Judgment. Just gotta move these down so I have enough room here. Feeling that one also. Two of Swords. Okay, let's get a couple more. We'll get them out and then we'll interpret them. So we have the Ace of Cups coming out under the Emperor. Nine of Cups under the Ace of Wands. Feel that one. Temperance under the Sun. Nine of Swords under Judgment. And we have the Nine of Wands coming out under the Two of Swords. So this group is very goal oriented. And I think that sometimes you are in quite a hurry to get to the end result. And this really puts you in a space where you just, you have a lot on your mind at all times. It's, I feel like these racing thoughts, this racing energy of always thinking, always planning, always wanting to prepare. I feel like you sit up here in this emperor energy that very take charge and we're seeing these new ideas fresh thoughts, fresh starts, wanting to take action, new beginnings. But this can oftentimes leave you in a space where you don't quite know what to do next. You're not quite sure what you should work on first. 
Now what Metatron is showing us here is taking the time to slow down, kind of balance your priorities a little bit. We're seeing that here. I'm picking that up here with temperance. It's going to bring you into a much happier space here, the sun energy. It's going to make you feel so much more refreshed and renewed to be mindful of your days. Be mindful of the things that you're working on. And like we're being shown here with grounding and with Archangel Sandalphon here coming through, letting you know, take it one step at a time. Focus on small goals, individual goals, small goals, small steps, because when we focus on those small steps, we kind of have these mini achievements that we can celebrate along the way, which ultimately bring us into this sun energy, this happiness, this joy. We're being shown to really stop and smell the roses, enjoy the journey, because we're seeing here that you are on a path from a beginning through this beautiful journey to a lovely ending destination. He's just expressing very strongly to make sure that we are enjoying every step of the process. And when we do that, that's going to help bring us into this Knight of Cups energy here, that feeling that we have more to offer, more to give of ourselves because we're not weighing ourselves down with this worry and stress and kind of feeling like we can't balance it all. Not always feeling like we have to be in that state of feeling like on guard, waiting to react to whatever comes up next. So Archangel Metatron saying, slow down and enjoy the process. So the next card we're going to get here is a card to see what part of your spiritual journey you are on. What Archangel Metatron wants to talk to you about with where you're headed, where you're going. And of course it flew across the room. Okay, so the card that flew out is Soul Child. And this is a wonderful card to have come out, especially with what we have here in the tarot and what we have out with Metatron. What this card talks about is new beginnings, coming into a fresh perspective, a fresh way of approaching life. So what I'm hearing is your hard work is paying off. You've been preparing for quite some time and this rebirth is coming in for you. This period and time of struggle and intense inner work, intense outer work that you've been doing, you're coming into this. And when I look at this card here, I, I feel like I see this as you rising up into this light, coming up out of this waiting down here, like your the new dawn of a new day is finally arriving. So Metatron saying, enjoy the process because you are coming into a new day and you're, you're making progress. You're getting there. You're going to be there very soon. So enjoy every step of it. So I'm going to get just a few final messages here. See what advice we have coming in. did a flip so we're going to take that and I'm feeling this one here let's get one more now these are sigils on here and I'm going to hold them up to the camera so that you can take a look at them because these will help activate you so we get one more out I'm feeling that so first out we have dragonfly you bring light to this world so there is a confirmation for all of you light workers. Next out, we have healing, true healing of the mind, body, and soul. Absolutely with this here, because I think a lot of you do need some of that healing to come in because you've really been putting a lot of pressure on yourself. And Metatron coming through here saying, the healing is coming, bringing the healing in for you. And then the last one is Awen, a one I apologize, I don't know how to pronounce that. Three rays of light, balancing male and female energies, peace and harmony. So we're seeing that up in here also about bringing things into balance, this priorities. Um, I was seeing, oh, here with the, the two of swords, just the 
imagery on this card here, oftentimes this is about decisions, but with this imagery here, I was seeing this because he's balancing this sword and because this group has a lot of priorities, a lot of different things going on, a lot of new starts with stuff. I was getting a lot with that about bringing things into balance. And we're seeing that here with the balancing male and female energies, peace and harmony. Now this is talking about balancing that divine masculine and the divine feminine within yourself. And we do have the emperor here. And because this is such a very ambitious group, I think this, this emperor card going along with this, Metatron showing you, you take some time to nurture your feminine side, take some time to put some work into the divine feminine aspect of yourself. And we're seeing this Ace of Cups energy here sitting underneath it, the sitting underneath the Emperor. And I feel like for some of you, that's talking about allowing some of that that feminine energy to flow back in because you're very hardworking, very goal oriented. So take that time to nurture yourself. So those are your messages. I hope they resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Hello, group number two. Those of you who chose this opal right here, let's go ahead and take a look at what messages Archangel Metatron has for you. We're gonna start by getting three cards here. We have Sandalphon coming out again. Funny, he came out in group number one as well. And he, it's its really not too surprising because Archangel Metatron and Archangel Sandalphon work together. So, and he's also a master number, master number 22, if that's synchronistic for any of you. Next we have Indigo, Mystery and Mastery of Life. Oh, and Sandalphon here, it says with you now. And then... The third card we have is Inner Child, Hear and Know Me. So, with Archangel Sandalphon here, what he talks about is taking things one step at a time, enjoying the process, not rushing through to what it is that you want to accomplish. Not only focusing on the end goals, but enjoying every step along the path. Now, sitting next to that is this indigo, this indigo energy. And this is talking about you actually having the capability to remember a lot of little details about things that you come across. You are very gifted in the sense of having a very visual memory. And with inner child sitting next to that, I, what, I'm, what I'm getting is Metatron saying, remember who you are. Remember to be mindful, to pay attention, to remain focused in the present moment. You are very, very gifted. And some of you may have suppressed this inner child. I'm feeling a little bit of fear energy of worrying about what people may think of you if they knew what some of your beliefs are, what some of your true thoughts and feelings are towards things. Archangel Metatron and Sandalphon coming through here saying, no, remember who you are. This is who you are. Be proud of who you are and nurture that inner child so that you can be the love and light that you were meant to be on this earth. So next we're going to pull some tarot, just get some additional messages here from Archangel Metatron and Archangel Sandalphon as well. swords page of wands so we have the 
the star, the empress, seven of wands, six of pentacles. Let me get them all out and then I'm going to interpret them. So we have the emperors. We have, well, we have the empress and the emperor here, plus the star. Definitely an intuitive group here. Definitely very gifted group. Five of Swords, the Chariot. Yeah, you are moving into some new gifts and abilities, I think, as well. Picking that up. And we have the Four of Swords. Yeah, because you're you're coming through maybe a little bit of a maybe a little bit of depression. For some of you, this could have been like a little bit of a dark night of the soul. I think because a lot of you are so spiritual, you're for some of you, I think you might feel like you're not progressing fast enough. I, I think you might feel like there's a bit of a delay or you're not coming into your gifts and abilities as quickly as you would like to. You're fully aware that these gifts and abilities exist within yourself, but I think you may have a little bit of inner conflict, inner turmoil happening right now. What we're seeing here very clearly is no, you are going to move into this very powerful energy. You're going to share these gifts and abilities with the world. Now, you may meet a little opposition from some other people, and when you're in the line of work or when you're talking spirituality, that's pretty much something that is just a given that we just need to come to accept that not everybody agrees on everything. But you are most certainly being propelled forward here and you're going to come out of this, this energy where you may feel a little down, a little in the fog. So we're going to pull a couple more Oracle here to see what Archangel Metatron would like to talk to you guys about on the topic of your spiritual path. What guidance and advice he has for you on that. Actually, I was feeling those two right underneath this, this one and this one. Okay, so we have initiation by water and divine grace, the law of efficiency. I, I just want to point out here quick before we before we go on, look at here. We have these mirroring energies. We have 23 and we have 32. So what we're seeing here, first with this divine grace law of efficiency, this is saying that your gifts and your abilities come very easily to you. Some of you may have been putting a lot of pressure on yourself, and that's where we're seeing here that it doesn't feel like it's moving fast enough for you. What Metatron is showing us here, that this is a very natural talent, and this isn't something that you have to force. We're seeing here that you're moving into this initiation by water. You're moving into this channel for spirit. As you see here, this kind of coming down and going through and channeling out, you are a channel for spirit and you're growing into that ability. You're growing into more of a mastery of the gifts that you came here to share with the world. A lot of you may have, a lot of you may be star seeds, indigo, um, crystal, whatever applies, you know, apply where it fits, whatever terminology you use to identify with or what resonates with you. Absolutely getting confirmation here of that. With this star card setting here, we're seeing, we're seeing that kind of intuition and higher vibration there as well. So Metatron letting you know that these abilities and gifts that you have, this is something that you are certainly moving into. And sometimes we have to go through a little bit of darkness to be able to see the light. He is most certainly saying though, that this is a natural talent and will come very easily. It's just, we have to learn those lessons at times. We have to go through the heavier energies. He's redirecting my attention back to this inner child card here. And what I'm picking up with that redirection to that card is that he really wants a lot of you to know, don't fear this opposition. Don't fear people telling you, oh, that's crazy. Oh, you, you talk about that stuff in public, they're gonna lock you up. Don't let words like that get to you because you were meant to bring your light to this earth. You were meant to share who you are with the world. Don't ever let people's words stop you from being the true person you were meant to be. 
So we're going to get a few final messages here. And with these cards here, they're sigils. So the sigils can be activating. So I'm going to hold them up to the camera after I pull them and see what additional messages Archangel Metatron has for you. Feeling that. Feeling that. And that, well, we got two more ones to jump out. So we have Philosopher Stone. Let me get them so you can see them. Powerful, powerful manifestation of wishes and goals by harnessing universal energy. Yes, look at that. Definitely a message for all of you there. Treat, did I put two of them down? No. Okay, I know I still got three more. Okay, Tree of Life, True Wisdom and Making Good Choices in Life. This is that wisdom that you have come in with you've come in with just so much wisdom and knowledge next out we have the festival creates an energetic blueprint for a fantastic party or event so some of you may just need to kind of get out and have a little bit of fun as well and look at this oh he hit me strong with this one <laughs> he hit me real strong with this on target follow your ideal life path really coming and letting you guys know don't let the naysayers bring you down don't let the people who want to push their opinions on you bring you down and hold you back from what you were meant to be this is your life path this is your life purpose you are a very spiritual being embrace that and enjoy the journey enjoy it the one step at a time stand up on here letting you know enjoy the journey enjoy the process because you are moving into this beautiful energy here this beautiful channel for spirit and this is the path that you are meant to be walking so those are your messages i really hope they resonate with you thank you so much for watching have a lovely day bye bye hello group number three those of you who chose this opal right here let's take a look at what messages archangel metatron has for you messages do we have for group number three okay they were eager to come out okay so we have cosmos mirrors you so right off the bat talking about what you put out is what returns to you next we have endings you are held so maybe a completion of something for some of you. And the third here, we have green heart healing. So what I'm getting immediately is that there has been some hurt that those of you in this group may have experienced recently. Metatron here letting you know to take a look at what positive aspects you can see in this ending because we are seeing an ending here and we are seeing that this ending for some of you may have been particularly painful. He's also coming through here, letting you know that he is sending this healing your way. Also with these cards, the colors, this, this there's color therapy in these as well. So this green here showing you that color therapy, because green is associated with the heart chakra as well, Color therapy, maybe surrounding yourself in those healing green colors, those healing emeralds, even calling upon Archangel Raphael as well for that heart healing may really help you move through whatever this ending was that has occurred for some of you. But Metatron letting you know you can work through this. When you work towards bringing yourself back into that positive space, the universe is going to mirror that positivity back to you. When you change your thoughts to more uplifting positive thoughts you're going to attract more uplifting positive energy in return with this card here this is also letting me know that a lot of you maybe feel very scattered right now because of the circumstance that you've been through he's saying it's time to really start focusing on what you want in your life really start focusing on how you want your life to be so that the universe can reflect that back to you so that you can see it begin to play out around you so that you can begin to have this good 
return into your life and all of these positive things start coming back. He's letting you know that you are not alone in this and that you have the support and the guidance of all the angels, your spiritual team on your side, and you most certainly have healing that is coming in. So let's pull some tarot and see what additional messages Archangel Metatron has for you here. So we have the death card change. So we are certainly seeing that here with this ending. So definitely a change there, this situation that's surrounding you. We have the Knight of Pentacles coming out next. We have the world card. I'm going to get these out and then I'm going to go ahead and interpret them. So we have Justice and Three of Pentacles. I'm going to get a few more. What I'm picking up with that world card when I was setting that down there is that this is something, whatever this changes that came in, this, this might have been something for some of you that really felt like it was your world. Your world really revolved around this. And this ending and change may have been quite difficult for you to transition out of or transition through. Kind of maybe left you a little bit of in a space where you're not quite sure what to do next. Let's get one final card. Not there. Okay. Look at that. King of Wands there coming out at the end. So you're definitely going to move back into your space of empowerment. You're, you're not going to be stuck in this forever. Here with the Ace of Cups, Metatron really letting you know, like, you hold the power in your hands to create a new beginning. I feel for some of you this may have been surrounding a person um, this King of Swords setting here, I'm picking this up as being an individual in your life. And then right next to it, we, we have the King of Wands. Now with these two cards coming out next to each other, what I'm picking up from this is that some of you had to move out of this energy in order to usher in an energy that more resonates with you and who you are as a person. For some of you, and this isn't going to apply to everybody, but I am picking it up for some of you. I'm seeing that there was an ending of a relationship or even possibly a divorce. We have the King of Swords sitting here underneath Justice. And how I'm seeing that is there was a legal issue that involved another person. And I'm picking it up as very emotional. And when this came to an end, it really put you in a space where you kind of shut down a little bit in the heart space. You kind of closed up and put walls around your heart space because this hurts you very deeply. Now, for others of you, this could also be talking about other legal matters that you may have been through. And it's just kind of taken a toll on you. You're really wanting it to come to a completion. We're seeing this endings here and we're seeing this healing and we're being shown to really put out there to the universe what it is that you want to see reflected back to you. Really shift into that positive mind state in order to make these changes positive. Turn them in your favor. We see this fresh new energy coming in here. And we have the world car sitting here. Archangel Metatron letting you know that everything is going to be okay. Everything's going to come to a completion and come to a conclusion where you will find happiness again. You will find joy again. This energy isn't going to last forever, and you're definitely going to move out of it. You're in the process of moving out of it. For some of you, you may just be coming up on that process of moving out, but you're definitely going to move through. So we're going to get a few more messages here of what Archangel Metatron wants to talk to you about regarding your life path, your spiritual path. So let's see what we have coming out here. have divine talents and I feel like I need one more cosmic heart cosmic Christ look at that healing that is beautiful the healing coming in for you guys what this is saying here is that past pain is moving out you are moving out of that and you are coming into this divine healing any mindsets that maybe you held in the past that were self-defeating you're moving away from that 
all of the past pain, you're, you're moving out of that. You're evolving and raising above that. Now with divine talents here, what this is talking about is how over many lifetimes, you've developed many spiritual abilities. Archangel Metatron letting you know here with this card that you have already come into a mastery of being able to move through energy like that. Your soul chooses certain things to play out in the incarnations when we come back to this earth. Metatron letting you know that a lot of you are here to complete the lesson. Like you've been working on this lesson over many lifetimes, and this is the lifetime where you're finally completing it, which for those of you who are really going through something tough, usually it's the toughest lessons where we learn the most from, right? It's not fun. It's never fun. But your soul has evolved from this circumstance or situation that you're currently moving through. Metatron also letting you know here with this card, don't be afraid to use your talents to attract healing to you. Call upon him for healing. Call upon him for assistance and guidance. Call upon Archangel Raphael to help you heal the heart space, help you heal, heal the heart chakra. Call upon Archangel Michael for protection. You have the rites of passage to communicate on a higher frequency, on a higher level. Metatron really letting you know here, you are not walking alone. You are absolutely not walking alone. And we see that here as well with the you are held. You have the support of so many angels and guides around you. So let's get a few final messages here. These cards have sigils on them, so they help activate you, could bring in healing for you. So let's see what we have coming out. I feel that one. We got one jumping. Actually, those two wanted to jump as well. Okay. So first out here, we have achievement. Win the award, accolade, or contract. The sigil here, take a look at that. That could be activating to you. And what I'm picking up with this is those of you who are going through some legal stuff, this is here to help activate you, to help put you in a mindset where you're in a better place to win, to achieve what it is that you're setting out, to kind of get what's rightfully owed to you. Next out, we have the sun. The golden energy of the sun brings fame and fortune. With this fame and fortune, I feel like this is feeling like in that abundance for you, bringing in that healing energy of the sun, putting you in a space of abundance where you feel like you are content, you are happy. You're moving back into a space of, look, and I was going to say prosperity, not just financially, but also in a like prosperity within you, like your own self-worth. This says a prosperous business with riches and success. Now, for some of you who could have a legal issue going on, these could absolutely be confirmations as well, saying like, no need to worry so much, like you got this. You know, this is a return that is rightfully owed to you and it's, you know, you have abundance and this prosperity coming in. And last out, we have perseverance, the motivation to keep going despite the odds. So really some encouragement there from Archangel Metatron and from your spiritual team saying, don't give up. You got this. You have done this many, many times before, and you're at the end of that cycle. You're completing it. Your soul is completing a lesson that has been working on over many lifetimes, and you are going to move out of this, and you are going to be victorious in the end. The healing is coming in for you, and all is going to be well. So those are your messages. I hope they resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.